We're going to be subtracting hundreds in this video. This is lesson 11.5. We can use basic facts to subtract hundreds. It's just like we did with addition. If we have five hundreds and we're subtracting two hundreds, we have three hundreds. Five hundred minus two hundred is three hundred. We know the tens in one's place are zeros, so we know that's what they're going to be in the answer, right? So we just think 5 minus 2 equals 3. If there's no ones and no tens, we just subtract the digits in the hundreds place. See? And remember, the answer to a subtraction problem is called the difference. It's the difference. That's the answer. And the first number is the menu end. The second number is the subtrahend. We take the subtrahend from the menu end. See? All right, so let's see if we can do this. We need to find each difference. If we have six hundreds and we're subtracting four hundreds, we just think six minus four. Six minus four is, do you know? We can count back. Six, five, four, three, two. Six take away four is two, okay? Let's try this one. We have eight hundreds minus two hundreds. It's going to be just like eight minus two. If we have eight and we take two away, do you know how many we have? If you said six, you're right. It would be six hundreds. Okay. Now let's take a look at this. Let's subtract and look for a pattern. So we'll start with this one. Seven minus three we can either start at the seven and count back three, seven, six, five, four, or we can start with the three and count up to the seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. It's a four. Okay, I hope my marker lasts. So now when we look at what happens here, we have zeros in the ones place, and we do the seven minus three, which we know is a four because we just did it we get a 40. There was one zero in the ones place for these digits, so there's one zero in the ones place for the difference. See that? So do you know what's going to happen here? We went from no zeros to one zero, and now we're going to have two zeros. That's the pattern. No zeros, one zero, two zeros. So we know this is a four, and we've got two zeros. Okay, so we have 400. Let's see if we could do that again. I bet now you could do it quicker. 9 minus 4, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We can count back 4 to get to 5, or we can start at the 4 and count up to the 9 to see what the difference is between them. Okay? Either way, we'll get the answer. So we know that 90 minus 40, well, we have zeros in the ones place, and 9 minus 4 is 5. We just did that, so we get 50. So you know what this one's going to be, right? Because there's zeros in the tens and ones place. We're going to have a 5 here and two zeros. We had no zeros, one zero, two zeros. See? All right, let's try some critical thinking. It says to subtract and continue the pattern. So let's see if we can find the pattern first. So let's subtract. We know there's going to be zeros in the tens and ones place, right? Four minus two is two. So we have 200. Now we have 500 minus 200. We know there's zeros in the tens and ones place. Five minus two is three. Our answer is 300. Now, do you see what's happening with the numbers? They're all having a 200 as the subtrahend. Every single one of them is minus 200. See that? But look what's happening with the minuend. 400, 500, 600, 700. They're going up by hundreds, aren't they? Each one is another hundred. It's one more hundred. Well, what do you think the difference is going to do? We went 200, 300. Let's see what happens with this one. See if our pattern shows itself more. Six minus two, that's a four. 
All right, well, our menu end is going up by 100. Our subtrend staying the same. Look at our difference, 200, 300, 400. So you know what that one's going to be, right? That would be 500 because our pattern is go up by 100. Because the subtrahend is staying the same, but the menu end is going up, our difference is going to go up. See? The difference between the two numbers is going to go up by 100 because the menu end went up. Do you know what would be the menu end and subtrahend for this next one? If it went 400, 500, 600, 700, what do you think would go there for the menu end? If you said 800, you're right. It's like I'm losing this marker. And we know what the subtrahend is going to be because it stayed the same, right? It's going to be a 200. And we know what the difference is going to be from looking at this pattern. 200, 300, 400, 500. It would be a 600, wouldn't it? And we know what the next one would be if we followed this pattern. The menu end, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. We follow the pattern, it's going to be a 900, isn't it? Our subtrahend still going to be the 200. And our difference is going up by 100, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. And 9 take away 2 is 7, isn't it? All right? We can use other minuends and subtrahends and differences to help us solve a problem. All right? Even in some case like this, if we already did 7 minus 3 is 4, then it would be easy to do the other two because we already did that math, right? Sometimes you'll be looking at your math paper and it has lots of problems on it and you'll be able to look back at the paper and see a similar problem that'll help you, all right? So we're going to continue on talking about subtracting hundreds and we're going to do some more for three-digit number subtraction, okay? I'll see you next video. Don't forget to hit the like button if I helped you. Bye.